I just wanted to thank everybody for coming. We greatly appreciate it. It means the world to Allie and I. All right, y'all, I'm Jake. I'm Connor's real better half. <laughs> um, uh, I'll keep this short and sweet like uh, Connor's temper. <laughs> <clears throat> Me and Connor, some of you may know, we stayed in an apartment together, and uh, he was like, man, this really cute girl, Allie Shepard, you may know her. Hi, Allie Shepard. Soon. <laughs> <laughs> Allie Santusi. He's like, bro, I'm going to try. <laughs> I knew Connor was the one. The night you came home and told me about y'all's first date, you had a light about you I had never seen before, and I knew I couldn't wait to meet this guy. Well, I did, and then again, I knew he was the one. God knew exactly what he was doing the evening you, Mom, and Dad took that stroll around that neighborhood. Connor, you have a true gem. She will stick by you through the good and the bad, and she will always be your biggest fan. Connor. As you know, you've got a good one, but Allie, you've got a good one too. And I wanted to read this verse from Proverbs 18:22. He who finds a good wife finds a good thing and attains favor from the Lord. And I believe y'all both have that. Every moment of every heartbreak, everything you've ever gone through, I was there. And uh, I've always wanted the best for you, man. I think this is it. I'm proud of you, man. Seriously, it is so great to see you and Connor together and your heart completely whole and happy and content with someone that is so great for you. And I'm so very happy to stand by your side tomorrow as you marry the love of your life. So cheers to Allie and Connor. When I was five years old, my parents sat me down and told me that my mom had a baby in her belly. I remember thinking, oh wow, I hope I get a little brother. <laughs> On August 12th, 1994, I was surprised with a sweet baby sister. God knew exactly what he was doing when he placed her in my life. I am just really grateful, short and sweet, to have Allie in my life. I can't wait for us to continue this whole path and friendship that we've got for the rest of our lives in our little small town. I remember me and Connor used to hang out all the time. One day we were riding around the neighborhood. He's like, man, you know, I wish I could find the one. Made no sense, but anyway, I look at this house and I know who that girl right there. That'd be a great girl. And he's like, oh man, I don't even know who that girl is. I was like, man, if she come up single, you've got to at least try. Well, eventually she finally came up single, and it still blows my mind how they never met each other. Man has run laps around that place, everything. They literally grew up a couple hundred yards away from each other. I did play college baseball with Connor. Uh, he was the pitcher, I was the catcher on the team. Uh, I was there when a Major League Baseball player hit two home runs off of him. Uh, <laughs> For me, I, I grew up in Miami, Florida, so it was a big change for me to come to Mississippi. And his family really took me in. I just want to say, Ali, you have a great friend here. Uh, he's very supportive, and he's always going to be there for you. And I appreciate all the memories we had together. We have so many stories that I will not share tonight. <laughs> a lot, a lot. But I must say, Ali, we have been there through all of your crushes, all of your boyfriends, all of your wishes, all of our wishes. Now I live out of town and I remember texting Allie and I said, this boy. And she was like, yeah, this boy. I said, he's probably the one. And she was like, yeah. I remember talking to my husband. I said, they're gonna be engaged very soon. <laughs> Not very long after that were they engaged. We grew up right next to each other, and uh, from the age of five, I think I was uh, adopted into your family. Thank you, Miss Judy. Supper was always great. <laughs> I think I asked you earlier today, you sure this is the one? He goes, instantly, not even a blink. He goes, absolutely, no question. 
We've always been protective of you, you know this. I'd fight someone for you, still would, so <laughs> watch out. To my beautiful bride, you have been the answer to every prayer, the light on my darkest days, and the hope when I am hopeless. You have forever made my heart whole. In you I find comfort. I find a love I never imagined for myself, and truly a blessing from God. From the moment we met, I have had no doubt you were the one for me. I am the happiest when I'm around you. All of my worries fade away. You make me better. No matter the challenges before me, I strive to fiercely grow as a man because of your unconditional love. Allie, I vow to love you for my entire life. I promise to be supportive through everything, on the good days and the bad. I promise to put you first and give you everything I have forever. I promise to fall in love with you each and every day, to have a love that has no end. You are truly my entire world, and together I know we will continue to build this beautiful life we have. I can't wait to see you walk down the aisle. I love you, Allie. Love, Connor. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty girl. <laughs> oh man, look at you! Uh, like oh it. yeah, beautiful. Oh man, shoot, <laughs> that's a beautiful girl. I ain't lying. I knew I had some pretty girls. I know. Uh, yeah. I know. <laughs> that proves it right there. It's not too late now. Come on home with me. I'm okay. Are you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Mom, Dad, thank you for everything. John Michael, Miss Angie, she's awesome. I will take care of her in my life, I promise you. You know you better. <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me. She means it. Let me. <laughs> Did, does anybody want to know what she told me before I walked up here? Yeah. She said, never go against family. Uh, never go against we got some Santucci sitting in the back too. I'm, whew, I'm outnumbered. We had some pictures from, look at that girl on my wedding day. Dad, thank you for walking by my side. Not only today, but always. Of all the walks we have taken together, this one is going to be my favorite. You are the first man I ever loved, and you are the reason I know what a good man looks like. Today, bride, tomorrow, wife, but forever, your little girl. Thank you for being the best, the best dad. I love you always. I love you. Deep love you. I love you. I love you too. And I'm glad I had y'all. <laughs> for the past 28 years, you have not only been my sister, but my very best friend, my mini-me, as my friends called you, little Leah, and it stands true. Every step I took, you were right behind me, taking the same steps. Most all my memories have you in it. I don't really remember times without you right there. You have been a listening ear when I just needed someone to talk to. You have always been a shoulder to lean on when times are tough. And you have always been one of my biggest supporters through life. I know. You can't see. Yeah. Can you my glasses? Yeah, no. Yeah. Mom, I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for making me into the woman I am today. I wouldn't be where I am if it weren't for you. You are always there by my side when things get tough. You are always there through my ups and downs. You're my biggest cheerleader and my big greatest supporter. You push me when I need pushing. I just want to say how thankful and blessed to call you my mom. I love you always, Allie. I welcome you all this afternoon in the name of this couple and in the name of our God, for it really is Allie and Connor and the Lord Jesus who gather us this day. Connor and Allie have discovered that special gift of love in each other, and in that discovery, we who believe would say that they have discovered the presence of our God. Do not the scriptures say, God is love? and whoever abides in love abides in God. God wants to show his love for them so much 
that he asks each of them to be a sign of that love for the other. When they speak loving words or do loving things, they are not only showing their own love, but God's love as well for the other. Being such a sign of God's love is what we mean when we say that they are a sacrament. They want you to share this special moment as you have shared so many other special moments in their lives. And they want you to pray with them and for them that the love they know now will be only the beginning of the love that they will know after a lifetime together. There are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, let no man separate what God has joined. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ who gives this woman to be married to this man. Her mother and I. My brother and sister, you have come together in this place so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of this community of his people. He has abundantly blessed your love. He has already consecrated each of you in baptism and now wishes to enrich and strengthen you both by a special sacrament so that you may assume the duties of marriage in mutual and lasting fidelity. And so in the presence of this community, I ask you to state your intentions. Connor and Allie, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Yeah. Will you love and honor each other as man and wife for the rest of your lives? Will. Yeah. I, Connor. I, Connor. Take you, Allie. Take you, Allie. For my lawful wife. For my lawful wife. I, Allie. I, Allie. Take you, Connor. Take you, Connor. For my lawful husband. For my lawful husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. This day forward. For better, for worse. Better, or for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. You have declared your consent before the Lord and His church. May the Lord in His goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with His blessings. What God has joined, let not men divide. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. A man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one body. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not seek its own interest. It is not quick temper. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never fails the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, bless and consecrate Connor and Allie in their love for each other. May these rings be a symbol of true faith in each other and always remind them of their love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Allie, take this ring. Allie, take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Connor, take this ring. Connor, take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Father, stretch out your hand and bless them. Grant that as they begin to live this sacrament, they may share with each other the gifts of your love and become one in heart and mind as witnesses to your presence in their marriage. Give your blessings to Allie, your daughter, so that she may be a good wife and mother. Give your blessings to Connor, your son, so that he may be a faithful husband and a good father. We ask this through Christ our Lord, amen. May God the Almighty Father give you his joy and bless you, amen. May the only Son of God have mercy on you and help you in good times and in bad. Amen.
May the Holy Spirit of God always fill your hearts with His love. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, He who is Father and Son and Holy Spirit, come upon you too, become one, and remain with you forever. Mr. and Mrs. Connor Shepherd, rise in love and go forth to grow in love forever. Kiss your bride. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Own your team. <laughs> I know. <laughs> 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 There's absolutely nothing more special than a sister's bond. You have followed in my footsteps all these years, and now it's time for you to follow in Connors and let him lead you in this marriage to my best friend, my sister, and to my new brother-in-law. May y'all have a lifetime full of happiness. Connor, we're so excited to welcome you officially into our little clan. You can see we're pretty close-knit, but we're happy to have you. And Allie, you found a pretty cool dude. Congratulations and cheers. I'm very happy for y'all. I don't think y'all could have chosen anybody better. Y'all did excellent, and that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> you barely deserve her. <laughs> you deserve her. But never get comfortable in that feeling, OK? That's my only tip of advice. And Allie, I'm so happy for you, and I'm so glad that we can let our guard down with this one because we know that he's going to protect you. Me and Connor became friends at Riverside when we played baseball together. It was just an instant connection. Me and you hung out every day. But we always kept up with baseball. That was kind of what kept us around each other and, and I remember you calling me. It was your first college game. Connor is, comes up to bat and the first four pitches of his baseball career were 96 low and away, 93 up and in. The next pitch was a ball and I'll never forget it. The announcer says it's 98 on the outside corner. Sit down, Connor Shepard. <laughs> and just that is how Connor's college baseball career started. I came in town years ago and I was eating at Doe's with my mom. I brought her out and I saw Leia there and she introduced me to her date. I start talking to the guy and I said, just to let you know, I'm Uncle Steve. You don't know me, but this is precious cargo you have. We expect her home safe. And I'm saying it in a tone to where I say, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. I thought this was Ali, I was there, I think, but I said, no, this is Leia. I'm like, so Sam, really you owe me. <laughs> because I ran that guy off, I think. I don't know if I gave you that speech. I did. It was at the wedding. At the wedding, that's when I met him, Connor. So, so I'm giving him the same speech, but hey, it didn't work and he stuck it out, so he must be the right guy, because I tell you what, I don't take it lightly, and I'm so proud of both of y'all. It was great meeting you. You got precious cargo. Yeah, man. She's, she walks around the neighborhood all the time at my dad's house. And I'm out there doing yard work and just passing by. And he's like waving. <laughs> <laughs> so if your yard, if your yard went downhill after that, Mr. Barry, that's why. <laughs> it takes a very special person to deal with 
that psychopath. <laughs> <laughs>